In this video, you'll learn how to create global entitlements in a cloud pod architecture environment. You use global entitlements to entitle users and groups to multiple desktops and applications across the pods in a pod federation. The view connection servers in the pod federation use the global data layer to share global entitlements. When you use global entitlements, you do not need to configure and manage local entitlements. There are two types of global entitlements, global desktop entitlements and global application entitlements. A global desktop entitlement contains users and groups that share the global entitlement and desktop pools that can provide desktops for the entitled users. The desktop pools can be floating pools or dedicated pools. A global application entitlement contains users and groups that share the global entitlement and application pools that can provide applications for the entitled users. A single global entitlement can contain resources from across the pod federation. In this example, a global desktop entitlement contains desktop pools from three different pods in three different data centers. Similarly, global application entitlements can contain application pools from different pods in different data centers. By default, when a user requests a desktop or application from a global entitlement, View searches for an available desktop or application in the pools in the global entitlement. To satisfy a desktop or application request, View searches local resources first, starting in the same pod that the user is connected to. View then extends the search to resources in the same site. Finally, View searches for resources across the entire pod federation. A view administrator can modify the default search behavior by setting global entitlement policies. The global entitlement policies that affect search behavior are the scope and home site. Let's look at the scope policy first. The scope policy controls the scope of the search when looking for desktops and applications for users in the global entitlement. Within pod causes view to search only on the pod to which the user is connected. Within site causes view to search on pods within the same site as the user's pod. All sites causes view to search across all the pods in the pod federation. For global entitlements that contain dedicated desktop pools, the scope policy affects where view looks for desktops only the first time a user requests a dedicated desktop. The global entitlement home site policy causes the global entitlement to recognize users' home sites. A global entitlement doesn't recognize a user's home site unless you enable the home site policy for the global entitlement. For entitled users that have home sites, the use home site policy causes view to start looking for desktops or applications in the user's home site instead of on the site to which the user is currently connected. If you enable the entitled user must have home site policy in addition to the use home site policy, the global entitlement isn't available to users who don't have home sites. Let's look at an example of a global entitlement whose home site policy is enabled. In this example, an entitled user named John has a home site in London, but he's traveling and is connected to a view connection server in New York. When John connects to the view connection server in New York, the global entitlement's use home site policy causes view to start looking for a desktop in John's home site in London. If a desktop is not available in John's home site, View looks for a desktop in the other sites in the pod federation. Now let's look at what happens when the home site policy isn't enabled for a global entitlement. In this example, an entitled user named Jane lives and works in London, but she's traveling and is connected to a view connection server in New York. Because Jane is connected to the New York site, she receives desktops from the New York site instead of the London site. In part three of this video series, we will configure the cloud pod architecture feature. For more information about the Cloud Pod architecture feature, visit pubs.vmware.com.